you want to talk? You want to talk about the game a little bit? Just general comments. Well, you know, there's, there's kind of, you know it, 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 when you get your uh, when, when you get shellacked like that, uh, the first game, you know, obviously there's a lot more potential in that locker room than came out uh, tonight. Um, I think we battled back early on when it uh, they pulled ahead. It was six six. We, we made some real good decisions. We scored some goals. Battled back, and then we took a couple of foolish penalties. I mean, you know, you, you take penalties in this league, you're going to lose lacrosse games. You know, we took a foolish penalty where we, well, we took we took two bench penalties, and we took two penalties from the new rule. Well, both are from the new rules. You know, uh, you know the changes too many men we had, and then also hitting the ball. You know, th those penalties are unacceptable. So you look at the goals that are scored there, and we take a five-minute penalty, and uh, you know the, the game just uh, slides away. But that was you know, probably one of those games that if you lost by one or you lost by five, you lost in overtime, you still lost a lacrosse game. You know, they're a good lacrosse club. You know, they keep moving the ball, they move their feet, and they play tough. They were getting in the dirty zone. They were getting inside into the, uh, into the heart of the offense and pushing, coming up and, you know, getting open down the side and getting some really good mid-range shots. So you got to give them credit. Um, we struggled. I think we struggled early on getting some saves. When we when we could have used some and kept kept the game close. Coach, what happened at the end there with with everyone fighting? Well, certainly um, uh, nothing that uh, is uh, is is you know we didn't send our players up to fight. You know, I mean, you know that's a pretty intense game, and you know some of the guys you know they start chirping each other, uh, and uh, you know that happens. Uh, obviously, uh, it's it's part part of. What we, we don't want to have happen, I mean, we don't want guys out there slugfesting, right? I mean, that's, that's not the way, you know, we want to play lacrosse. Uh, it happens. Uh, you know, we don't uh, want it to happen uh, all the time, obviously. That's not how we coach this lacrosse club. Do you uh, think frustration is kind of boiled over there? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, guys start talking, and next thing you know, I mean, you know, you know the, the thing that, you know, that, that happened at the end, I mean, we thought the fight was over, and... You know, I mean, you know, they have Campbell go after Brody Merrill, right? I mean, you know, fights are over. There's a f couple of fights, and then that that happens. So, uh, you see any adjustment in the rule changes? How your opponent will handle that? Like, there's going to be adjustment time to that, just getting to the players' mind, the new rules. Yeah, but you know, we talk about it enough. You know, we talk about it enough. We talk about it in practice. The last thing I did before we left the locker room is, you know, we had a meeting with the referees and we went over the new rules and we went and we discussed it. And mental discipline is an important part of any, any game. It's very important in lacrosse because everything happens quick. Everything happens quick. And I thought we really struggled on our changes as well. You know, they, they had a lot of three-on-twos, they had a lot of two-on-ones, and they had some opportunities. And, you know, that, that lacrosse club can shoot the ball. I mean, they were, they were like BBs going to the ball. Yes? Coach, you talked about the uh, Rochester getting in the dirty zone. Yeah. Um, in your opinion, was it something that they were particularly doing, or was just you know the defense off tonight? What did you say was going on there? No, you know they they, they run an offense which you know a lot of teams are running is where you know you get into that we call it the heart of the offense. So you go into that real uh, tough area in front of the net, and then you come out from there. And so when you're in there, the defense is in there, and you saw early on it opened up some mid-range shots. Right, they were getting some mid-range shots. That you know, from from here to you know that uh, whatever that is, around that you know that uh, <laughs> computer, whatever that fucking is. But that's the kind of shots that are tough to stop, right? And they're over players. They're screen shots. They're over players, and and they gave us some trouble with that. Um, but that's the way teams are playing. You know, they, they you know you, you jam up the middle and it opens up the outside. It's it's sort of reversed the way it used to be. It used to be you play down the outside try and get to the middle. Now you're starting in the middle and you're bouncing out so you can get a little bit to the outside. And you know they, they orchestrated their offense really, really well. And we practiced against their pressure. You know, we, pr we practiced against, you know, you saw in the fourth quarter where we got the ball behind and you know they, we, they double on the side. You can take it behind or you can pick and pop and then you redirect it and a couple of passes away, you know, you, you should get a good sh a shot opportunity. We were rushing that when they did the first slide down. We were rushing that that next that next pass, right? Yeah. Could you talk about the decision to pull Miller in the third quarter? Yeah, I probably should have pulled him earlier. 
you know, but you know, you, you know, he's our number one goalie, and you want to, you know, play, you play through the first wave, right? We got back, and then you go, you know, what was it, 13 6? You know, so and then you go, maybe a little earlier to give him a break, right? Not, I mean, Wagner went in, I'm not saying it's Brandon Miller's fault that we let in all those goals. Our defense was porous, but sometimes if you pull a little earlier, it gives everybody a little bit of a break, and then, you know, you climb back into it. Do you think with so many new players on this team, it's just going to take time to adjust to the chemistry where you want it to? Well, you know what? It, it, it's, it, you know, there's, there's two types of, I think we have good chemistry as far as players go. You know, we have a lot of character guys. So chemistry in the locker room, fantastic. I've been involved with a lot of clubs. We have a lot of chemistry. What we don't have right now is, is, is called task cohesion, right? You know, when you look at clubs, sports teams, you have, there's two types of cohesion. There's task cohesion, which is everybody cohesive with your systems, right? And that's where we're on, not on, not on the social cohesion. You know, we're, we've got a good group of guys. That chemistry in the locker room is there, but the chemistry of that task cohesion on the floor has to be there. And that's where we struggle. And that happened with new players. But every team has a lot of new players this year, except for a few. You know, they have new players. We have new players. We had 18 new last year, you know, eight new this year. So we have to work through it. We have to, we have to battle through it. We have to be ready to, to play Toronto and Washington and Buffalo and Rochester. You know, we got, we got a tough schedule, and we got to be prepared to play those tough teams. What did you think of Kevin Crowley's performance tonight? Yeah, I thought uh, I think Kevin, you know, Kevin's uh, got a lot of potential in this league. You know, for a rookie, his first game, you know, bobbled a bit, right? He bobbled a bit. Um, you know, he would, he's, he's very shifty, so I know a couple times he'd shift this way, and, he, you know, the ball would squirt out sort of things. Uh, I thought he did a nice job when, when, we, when we pressed the ball. Kevin was really good at that. I thought, uh, you know, Max Siebel played a real, real tough game on loose balls and, you know, trying to make things happen, so... Um, I, you know, we've got to get we've got to get more goal production from Mundorf. We've got to get more goal production. We had seven players score goals, but we have to get Crotty in there. We've got to get Mundy in there. Um, you know, I think Mike Hominick would he get one or two? But you know, everybody's got to you know, twelve goals. You know, playing man down all that time. Not bad, right? Not bad. But you know, when you let in what twenty two, and the twelve is 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 pretty tiny. Yeah. You, you mentioned Mondorf. I think he had a two or three posts tonight. It yeah. seemed like you guys had a lot of shots, a lot of chances. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of finishing, I mean, is that something that you can work on, really, or is it just kind of a... Well, you know, he, he's got to work on it, yes. He's got to spend some extra time uh, with his stick when, you know, when he's not. You know, we're obviously, with the NLL, we only have X amount of time to practice. So, you know, it's really important for the guys to get out on their own. And, and, and work and uh, you know in practice on Thursday night and even this morning in the shoot around you know he, the ball was he was missing the net uh, now it, it, you know like you said he hit three posts and he was dialed in a little bit better so you know we you know he needs to score some goals and he will score some goals but you have to let him shoot the ball he needs to shoot the ball I think we have to look at a, a shot distribution and you know see who's getting shots would they outshoot us by 10 I didn't see the final stats 10 Something so like yeah, 10 outshot us with all those power plays. So we weren't really out of it from that standpoint. You take all those power plays into consideration. Our biggest, you know, they scored a lot of five on five goals. And they scored two <coughs> goals. Yeah. Okay, any other questions for Johnny before we get some players up? You know, okay. getting a, okay. No, go ahead. Uh, you don't have a lot of lefty shooters on this team. Is that something you have to adjust to? Well, we have, um, we have, uh, you know, Mike Hominick, we have Mundy, we have, we have Ned Crotty and we have Maxie Siebel up there. So we, we do have four. Right? We just have to get goal production from that four. Okay. Thanks, guys. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you.